everybody, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply. Here we have a Pump Tech water otter. It's basically a 1200 PSI pressure booster. Um, the reason for the video is I want to show you how to adjust the pressure regulator if you're having issues that it won't go above a certain pressure. So an example would be you use it on a, a carpet cleaning job, say you're cleaning at maybe 350, 450 PSI, and then you want to bring it to a tile cleaning job, you want to increase the pressure to 1200. Uh, another example would be say you're cleaning tile at 800 PSI, you get to another job and you want to crank it up to maybe 1,000 or 1,100 or you know, max it out at 1,200. Um, what can happen is sometimes when you go to screw down the pressure regulator here, it'll stop and it won't keep going up in pressure. Uh, it's not broken, there's nothing wrong. The reason for it though, I'll show you, if you pull this cap off, um, when you turn the cap, it's basically just turning this part of the regulator. Underneath it is a lock nut, you can see there. So what will happen is, say you have it set to 500 PSI right now, while it's running, it's going to vibrate, this lock nut's going to work its way down to the bottom. Then when you go to turn it, you know, to increase it, it's going to stop and get stuck. So the, the fix is fairly easy, just pop the cap back off, sometimes it's on there pretty good. You can see I've actually got some tool marks on mine from when I had to pull mine off when this happened a couple months back. Um, pop this off, raise this lock nut back up, you're going to let it float, and then put this on, and then turn it you know, to increase the pressure or what I would suggest is honestly just bring it all the way up get a wrench and I, I guess you can say tighten it in the loose position as much as you can so it tightens up against the top part of the regulator that way it won't vibrate loose and go down and then you can put your cap back on and then you can turn it freely I mean it's a little hard to turn but it does turn um, in both directions and then you don't have to worry about that anymore. Another thing you do too, if you want, raise all the way up, get a little uh, little thread, uh, a drop of thread lock, tilt it on its side, stick it on there, and then that way if it does start vibrating back down, it'll catch that thread lock and it just won't go any further. Um, or you could always take it all apart and just take it off too, that's another option, but I like to keep parts together if possible. That way if you want to use the lock nut for the sole purpose of what it's there for, you know, to prevent you from going above a certain pressure while it's running, that's fine. So, quick easy fix if you guys ever have that issue. Um, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Again, Dave from Clean Pro Supply. Have a good day.